Okay, I got some great news. Before I start this fairy tale chapter review, I'm gonna let all of you know if you haven't heard yet, the fairy tale anime is restarting in April 2014. Yes, it is finally going to be returning. I cannot wait to see it in this coming up April because it's gonna be my birthday. Perfect birthday gift for that freaking love. I cannot wait. I'll tell you this, this chapter, wow, it, it, it definitely was a pinnacle of really dark themed chapter. Now, a lot of people would look at this chapter first right off the bat and probably think, oh, Ares is naked again and so is Mira, there, there's fan service. Now, I am not one for fan service. If you stick tuned to my channel a lot, you should know I don't like fan service. I really don't like an abundant amount of fan service. But, the fan service in this chapter technically was not fan service. I want to let you know why I state that in an actual logical point. The entire situation that Ares was, uh, was in was pretty much humiliation, torture, and getting her to break her freaking wall of dignity. I mean, the entire shackles when she's shackled up, as we basically revealed this chapter, that they were sucking out her magic power. So, okay, think about that real quickly in your mind. Okay, so her magic power is getting sucked out. Now, Ares, what is her type of magic? Think about that. Uh, it's re-equipped. She basically makes new outfits with her magic. So, if her magic is sealed, she has no magic, and basically she has no source of magic, of course her clothes would disappear. Now, that's one reason why I can confirm why she'd probably be naked. Now, another thing is that we're going uh, getting to see her psychologically tortured to where she literally goes crazy and breaks down to where she is begging Tartarus to save Mira and probably become a demon. And that is probably what is going on. I will tell you this. This is a really freaking in-depth dark chapter. A really psychological torture going on in this chapter. I did not expect something like this in actually fairy tale. A hero Mashima, you're on a freaking ball just like Oda is. I mean, you have had some dark things, but I never expect to see medieval type torture tactics in a freaking manga, let alone fairy tale of all freaking things. This, wow, it had some really good artwork too. I mean, even if, let's say this, even if I was, I love fan service, let's say I was a big fan of fan service, I don't know how anyone could actually sit back and say you enjoyed that fan service. When you see poor Erza painting, screaming, begging for a freaking mirror to get saved, and she, it looks like she's getting broke down. I mean, we haven't seen her like that since she was a child, and just that was something I did not expect to see in this chapter. That was a really well, in-depth chapter, not to come at the end, just beating through the freaking wall, and the chapter ends, I cannot wait to see what kind of rage he is going to have when he finally gets to see what has happened to Erza. We knew what kind of crap happened when uh, Jarl decided to go all freaking, you know, crazy and psychological torture to Erza, so remember that one. Think about that logically. Tartarus needs to go find a new freaking headquarters base, because Natsu is going to rip that entire base to the freaking ground. Now, let's get on to another discussion of this actual chapter, there was a lot of plot progression in this chapter I really actually enjoyed. I cannot believe there's so much direction with the actual arc. For instance, there was a lot of reveals in this chapter. A lot of names of Orsion Cess was actually revealed. Eric? Cobra's name is Eric? Okay, I, I think I want to call Cobra Cobra from now on. I, I don't want to call him Eric. No. That was interesting enough, and then we got Jarl just sitting there messing with Orsion Cess, just playing around with him, calling him by the real name, then we finally get to Angel, Serrano. Okay, now I don't know if anyone has realized this or not, but that is the name. That is the name to Yukino that was in the Magic games that said she had a sister that disappeared. So right there... Mashima reveals who her sister is. There we go. I mean, a lot of people believed and already had theories that basically Angel was her sister, but now that it's actually officially confirmed, it really makes the freaking... It's just an awesome chapter. This chapter was really freaking good. I enjoyed it a lot, and definitely one of my favorite chapters in months, honestly, because this was just epic. It definitely makes up for that disappointment that Mashima tried to do with Happy with his freaking afro a couple chapters back. Well, everybody, this is going to be the end of my actual chapter review of Fairy Tales. So, tell me what you think about this chapter. Did you hate it? Did you like it? Tell me what you think about that mad evil freaking torture tactics. That's freaking... I don't even know that. I, I, I don't even know how to describe something like that. Well, everybody, you have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please stay safe and chibi out.